morning and welcome to the English Department's briefing. We're here to describe differentiated tasks. I'm yellow. I'm the easiest task for everyone to access. I'm pink, though I'm the next level up, but most pupils will do me. I'm blue, and I'm for students that want a little bit more of a challenge. Differentiating in the classroom, I find it's really helpful to set up learning leaders. So I've been setting up learning leaders with tasks ahead of time so that they can then come in and help their groups out. Uh, and then I picked these up at Teach Me, and I've been using these to uh, gauge understanding within the classroom. So I give these to my learning leaders, and I very quickly just ask them how they're doing. They can tell me green, they're on task, they're doing well. Uh, they're a little unsure with yellow, and then red, they have no idea what's going on. Using individualized targets for feedback helps every student stay on task and make progress during the lesson. And they're color coded pink, yellow, blue. So this is something that I've been doing with my year nines. They've had to write a newspaper article, and it has to be a biased newspaper article. Um, so I have their preparation task here, which is basically just brainstorming. And then for the more of a student, I've just outlined what I want in each of the paragraphs. So it's just a structure of the article. I also have an aim higher and a help yourself available on the wall. And also success criteria for exactly what they need to be looking out for while they're writing. Um, so they had completed that, and I had marked their work. And here, uh, this is Mohammed Janaid's work from Nine Pankhurst. Um, so in the next steps, I've outlined exactly what he needs to do, and one of them is focusing on a variety of punctu punctuation and using more interesting vo vocabulary. So what he's done here is he has done dirt, <clears throat> and what I got them to do was, according to their next steps, they have to go to the wall and pick out the one that is most relevant to them. So he picked out the punctuation sheet, which is here. And what he had to do was he had to focus on using a semicolon. So he looked at the sheet and he had a quick glance at it and he started writing and then he asked me, is this okay? And it was wrong. So I told him to go back, look at the sheet again. A couple of minutes later, ma'am, ma'am, if I say it like this, is it right? And I was like, yes, it is. And he smiled to himself and continued writing. And then he included a few more little bits of vocabulary, so we still need to work on dirt with him, but then he highlighted them as well. So what I've done then is I have two little tick boxes here, and because he used them, I ticked them off, signed my name to it, but I've also said it's ongoing, that he still needs to do it just in case he forgets. So. Thank you. Using the QR code, you can scan me later if you want more tips or to review these uh, tips on differentiation. <laughs> and I forgot what I was going to say. No! <laughs> <laughs>